Hi everyone, this is Asma Khalid from Cyber Panel and in today's video we are going to be learning about Google Cloud Server Hosting. So in this video we are going to be deploying a Cyber Panel server using Google, uh, Google Cloud Platform and then deploying a WordPress site on that server. So without further ado, let's just jump straight to the video. Alright guys, so once you go into cloud.google.com, this is the page that you will see. Click on console from the upper right corner and basically you will be redirected to the dashboard of your console. Okay, so this is the dashboard of your console. Now what we need to do first of all is basically we need uh, to open port 80. 90 over here since cyber panel wor uh, works on port 8090 so you need to search for firewall vpc from here click on create firewall rule and name your rule basically so we'll just name this rule one and everything else will be um, by default mostly let me just we, uh, next we need to check on the source so here so your source is going to be 0, .0, .0, .0, 0 and once you do that it's good to go next we need to go into protocols and ports and your um, TCP should be 8090 and UDP should be all and we're done with this basically okay so once you're done with this next is your target so you have your specified target tags and then you need to mention some targets over here so for example if I say rule 1 so any um, virtual machine that I'll create uh, will be connected to this via this ta uh, tag. So once I'm done with that, I'll click on create. And it's done. So it's in the works right now. All right, so our rule one is done now. What we're going to do is click on navigation menu and from here, uh, let's just go into compute engine. From here, click on VM instances. So we're basically going to start creating an instance over here now. Just like you do in Amazon uh, AWS, in the same way you need to create an instance okay so guys when once you come onto this page click on create instance and it's going to take you to another page now all right so just name your instance over here i'm going to name this rule 1.1 same as okay so you can add any region that you want uh, i'll just enter west and in the same way you can enter any zone that you want once you're happy with that scroll down and in machine types you can choose any machine that you want uh, I'll choose E2 small okay then scroll down into firewall here it is so in firewall allow HTTP traffic and allow HTTPS traffic now this is important so you have to do this okay next is uh, boot disk now with boot disk the size is 10 GB over here, but you need it 20 GB or more. So we're going to click on change 
Also, the, o, uh, the OS over here is Debian, but we all know that CyberPanel works on Ubuntu, so we are going to select Ubuntu, and the version would be 20.04. Next, the size, I'm going to turn it to 30, and that's it. Now scroll down into Networking, Disk, Security Management, and tool ten uh, Sole Tenancy, and over here, click on Networking. Now from here, we need to in basically enter the tag. So the network tag that we entered previously was rule one. And once we do that, we are set to go. So scroll down and click on create. Oh. Lowercase and hyphens. Okay, so we'll name this rule one so make sure that everything is correct and click on create and your vm will be created your instance is creating so we'll just wait for it to be completed Okay, so I just changed the name of my instance since it was some creating some issues. So make sure that whenever you enter the name of your instance, it's according to the rules set by Google itself. Okay, so once your status is good to go, instance is running, click on HHS. Okay, so this is done. So let's start. First of all, we are going to enter the command sudo sq dash and over here we need to enter the command basically to start installing which is this command I will also mention this in the description of this video it's gonna start now so we need to start cyber panel enter Yes, install sub panel with open light speed. Uh, yes, this is include. And do you want remote SQL? Let's just go with no and in press enter key to continue with latest version. Yes. And we, okay, so D is going to be like your default password, R is going to be for random, so we're just going to go with random. So do you wish to install? Uh, no. So Redis process, it's PHP extensions, no, we'll just do it like really quickly. So you can of course go through them uh, if you want. So it's starting the installation process now. All right, guys, so once your cyber panel is installed, it's going to give you your URL, your username, and your password. So we'll just copy this quickly. And just open our cyber panel now. So it's going to redirect us to our login page. From here, we'll know that our username is admin and this is our password. So username was admin and our password and let's sign in. And that's how you can install your cyber panel using Google. All right, guys, so once you come on to your Cyber Panel Dashboard's homepage, just click on WordPress from the left-hand side menu and click on Deploy WordPress. Once you do that, just enter the required information over here. Just find blog, domain name. Username, password. Okay. 
no fim and click on create website all right so once you have created your wordpress site deployed it you can open up your wordpress sites dashboard over here so this is how you can very easily deploy your wordpress site using cyber panel on a server which was uh, deployed using google so that's it for today i hope this video was really helpful for you guys if you still have any questions just drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe cyber panel